as I mentioned before, this is a great day for us to do this ribbon cutting. It's something that we have been waiting for for some time. Uh, this, uh, this is going to replace that landmark that I remember when I was here as a student, and that would be the two high-rise dorms uh, that used to be here. Uh, and, and this is one of those things that uh, you talk about back in that day. It's sort of like the five miles uphill to Twin Buttes in the snow uh, that we did and, and saw those, those landmarks. But this icon, this one's going to be different for, for us as well here at Angelo State University, but also the city of San Angelo. And this is about replacing it today by the, the Housley Tower, more, more importantly named after and in honor of the late entrepreneur and philanthropist um, Robert Bob Housley, the founder of Housley Communications. If you don't know, it stands right at about 65 feet tall. Uh, it has a whole bunch of bells that are going to be able to be played in there. Matter of fact, seven, over 7,000 different songs that the bells can play, if you will. And I'm not talking about the ram bells. I'm talking about the bells in the tower right now. But it includes the ASU fighting song, and you'll be able to hear that in just a moment when we do the ribbon cutting. And we've also got uh, 25 customized tolling bells and eight clock chimes that go off. Uh, during the time frame here. One of the things you will not see today, uh, as well as even this evening, is the light system that we have on the tower. It goes from the top of the tower all the way down to the sides and even coming from the ground and going up. Uh, we'll have a color changing LED lights that are installed uh, here within the tower that you'll be able to see as you drive by in the evening time. And we will start that during our graduation week next weekend. And so you'll be able to come by and see that. And we're going to have the tower chimes that go off at 8 a.m. each morning. I said it before when we were doing the groundbreaking, that is to make sure the students are up at that time. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I was interviewed by the students saying, is that what that's really for, the tower for us to wake up the students? Um, but that's going to be at 8 a.m. And then there's another one that will go off at 11.48 a.m. in the morning. And we created that 11.48 time because that's the exact time that the legislation was signed that created Angelo State College as a four-year state-sponsored institution on May 17th, 1963. So that'll go on at 11.48 and then one more at 5 p.m. There might be other times that we do the, the, the chimes and the bells like that, but it'll be on special occasions that we have. Uh, this tower project was funded by the generous gift from um, Miss Mona Housley that's sitting right off to, to my right right here. And it's in memory of her late husband uh, who had a long-standing vision of putting a bell tower here on the campus. I can recall meeting him three different times, if you will. The first one was when I was at an Eagle celebration, Eagle Scout celebration. Uh, and he was at that event there. And then the next time was here on this campus uh, as he was walking and we passed each other and he talked to me about wanting to put a bell tower here on, on the campus at Angelo State University and how much that would mean to him to make that happen. But the third time I really met Bob Housley was at, was at his eulogy where Sam shared with us who the man Bob Housley was to the family and I would also say to us, and, and when I heard that eulogy, I knew what he was talking about when we were on this campus, how much that bell tower truly did mean to him. So Mona, thank you uh, for making that a reality and something that we're gonna start having here on our campus and more important, importantly, the legacy that comes as a result of that. If you would allow me to introduce to you, I've already said his name, uh, Chancellor Ted Mitchell, the Chancellor for the Texas Tech University System, he wants to also have some remarks as well, so join me in welcoming him here. This bell tower has been years in the making. And when you talk about being able to communicate something to a community, and being able to communicate something to the students that are here, very few things like a university bell tower do that. Uh, President Hawkins is talking about all the different music that it plays and the like, but I have to tell you that just having those chimes available for special events and the like, it will be something that the students that are here today and the students that are here in 20 years will remember as part of their experience at Angelo State University. There's a saying that there are two good times to plant a tree, 20 years ago and today. 
what this ribbon cutting represents today is planting that tree today. I want to talk just a little bit about President Hawkins. It's been almost two decades since Angelo State University joined the Texas Tech system. It's hard to believe. But during that time, it has been a crown jewel in the things that uh, are not only meaningful to our system, but things that are exemplary in our system. And for now, nearly four years, President Hawkins has been leading this university. And I will tell you the things that have been happening here under his leadership are absolutely remarkable. And they go hand in hand with everything that the Housley family is all about. This morning, I had the opportunity to speak to the uh, Housley uh, leadership class in the business school. And these are all, they represent primarily seniors that are getting ready to go off into the workforce. And I have to tell you, I was telling the mayor this just before we got started. In our system, in the Texas Tech system, one of the things that we're working on is to make sure that our kids, when they graduate from our universities, are ready to go out and not only be well educated in their field of study, this family has done so much for this community and they've been leaders in this community in so many ways, many of which go unsung, that it's a great testament that this tower is named for them. I want to thank you for letting me come down and participate. I look forward to many, many years ahead on listening to the Bell's Chime. Thanks for letting me be here. Um, one thing I wanted to say is that, uh, again, my name is Chris Housley. I'm the grandson of Bob and Mona. Uh, currently the executive vice president of the Housley Group. Uh, many around here hear it as Housley Communications. Uh, we've, we've diversified a little bit and moved on to the Housley Group, but uh, I'm proud to be here and part of that company. So this, uh, this tower is dedicated in the memory of my grandfather, Bob, who founded Housley Communications uh, in 1980, almost 44 years ago. Um, he was a successful businessman that ran the company truly till the day he died, uh, honestly. He, he never uh, moved on to that retirement uh, stage of life, and uh, he, was, he was proud to run that business uh, and, until he got sick and passed away. And um, in that, those last moments I got to share with him personally before um, he passed away, we talked about the business and we talked about um, how proud of it he was and that he mentioned that he was uh, he wished that he could go into the office to close the office one more time and so that spoke a, a, a small part of uh, the success and the businessman that he was but working hard to to be successful at Housley was not the only way that he succeeded uh, we got to talk about this a little bit at the housing class this morning, but uh, success can be defined in so many different ways other than just uh, a, a paycheck or the bottom line. And Bob was a good example of that. His character and generosity um, is something that people still to this day will come up to, to me and my family and tell us stories about generosity that he had that we we had no idea that he even interacted with them. I mean, it's and, uh, you know, he did that and was willing to have a... Uh, listening ear and a lending hand and was quick to do that and I think that speaks a lot about who the man that he was and who many of you knew uh, while he was alive so um, on that so he part of being the charitable and philanthropist that he was and that Mona is as well they they're involved in many organizations throughout um, the city of San Angelo and just have a charitable heart and supported many individuals nonprofit organizations and also the housing principal leadership class that we've mentioned so far today here at Angelo State. Uh, although I recognize I may be a little biased, I believe that Bob, uh, who I called Bapa, was a, a man of principle, uh, integrity, uh, humble, and generous, and one that I think many of us can, can look to as an example on how to live our lives. Uh, an exciting part of this tower, as they've mentioned, is the, the ringing of the bells and playing of the songs, 7,000, I believe you said, <laughs> is quite the number. Um, but Part of uh, one thing that I think is uh, a fun note is that uh, Bob and Mona raised their family and uh, we grew up in a, uh, right around the corner on campus in Live Oak on their house. And uh, with the, the playing of these bells, I, I like to think that some of that sound will filter over and that Bob would have enjoyed uh, getting to hear those bells uh, at his home that he lived in for so long. Um, 
that being said, uh, I just did want to say uh, thank you to uh, Mona Housley and the success of the Housley Group for um, being able to have a generous donation to build this tower. And uh, Mona has often jokingly told me that, you know, I don't think Bob would have uh, necessarily built this tower. He mentioned to you that, yeah, it was a fun idea, but wasn't sure if he would do it. But you know, maybe he would have done it. He may not have put his, his name on it. But, uh, but he's, we're, we're proud uh, as a family to uh, think about the honor that he has and the legacy he has here at Angelo State and this community. And we think this tower is a representation of that. Uh, lastly, I just think it'd be remiss not to thank all of those involved from uh, President Hawkins to uh, Jamie Meyer and uh, Cody Geens and the general contractors and architects and designers that made this vision a reality. Um, it turned out very beautiful and uh, we are proud of what it looks like and as uh, Chancellor Mitchell just said, for, for it to stand the test of time to be here for the next 20 years. So lastly, just uh, again, we want to thank you as uh, the Housley family for being here today for celebrating this uh, wonderful moment and uh, thank you for everything. Uh, chimes, those bells will be heard down the street for a long way and the reason I know that right now, talking just a little bit during our meeting that we had just before here, Miss Angie Wright let us know that she's told them to turn up the volume on the bell so we'll, we'll see how that goes. And, and more most importantly, the reason she said that, as I said, I can only wait for the next uh, noise nuisance that letter that I get because of the bell towers going off. But that that's going to come, and when that comes, we'll know we're in there. That, that is for sure. So let's get on with the cutting of the ribbon. We're inviting the entire Housley family to come forward as we get ready to do that. And that's when you're going to be able to hear the ASU fight song as we get ready to cut the, that ribbon right now. So we invite the Housley family to come on up.